Hey everybody, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So what I'm gonna show you guys today is how to make one of these lovely dividers that I put into my mini happy planner. So what you basically need today is a laminator, a um, blade such as this, or any type of cutting tool, laminating sheets or laminating paper, and either a disc punch for the mini happy planner or just a regular hole punch. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And really, you just need paper, some cardstock. And I'm going to show you guys how to kind of create your own little, show you now, your own little divider. Really, really easy and really easy to customize. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you really is how you can make a, the tab itself. So I'll show you a, a couple of different kinds here. The first one being where you can actually just use the Happy Planner sticker book and I'm choosing the teacher one particularly because they have these stickers that you can create into tabs. And what you can basically do is stick this, I'll show you quickly on an example. So on a piece of paper, just like this, I'm just going to fold it and I'm going to use one that I know I'm not going to use. Take one of these and measure it and then place it. I always try to place it so that this edge, this top edge here, is at the top of the paper. Just like that. Fold it over so that it matches and then that's one easy tab and then you can either leave the divider such as this or what I've done similar to this tab is I've actually cut it along the edge so I get a nice thin tab like this and the reason I do it like this is because I like the clear laminating sheet I want to be able to see through my laminating sheet so there's one example of a tab that you could create using the happy planner stickers and really just some cardstock to put that on the next type is I'm using, you can use some old tabs like for example these ones from the Planner Society and again sticking them onto cardstock these ones would probably need a bit of glue but sticking them onto cardstock like this and measuring them out for the Happy Planner you can either do it on the top of the Happy Planner or on the side of the Happy Planner but you can use older tabs such as these or if you don't have these this is a great option for you as well or if you have the older Planner Society ones with these tabs, you can actually use those instead of these. So there's three different options right there for how to make a tab. Another one that I have is, I'll take this machine out actually. This is a punch that I purchased from Michaels. This is the We Are Memory Keepers punch board. So this where you can create the different size tabs. Let me see if I can show you on the back. There's three different size tabs that you can create, the small, medium, and large. And actually that's what I use to create this. But what happened with this one is that this top portion ended up being too large for the mini happy planner. So I basically punched it the way that I normally would, but then I cut off that top part so that it is a smaller tab sticking out there. So again, a fourth, I guess a fourth or a third way to make the tabs is through this punch board. You don't have to buy this punch board just to make the tabs for your happy planner, but I use this for all sorts of projects, not just my mini happy planner. So punch board, stickers and cardstock, or cardstock and other tabs that you've got as well. Now the way that I'm gonna make my tabs today, get these out of the way here, is actually a friend of mine who owns a Cricut or a Silhouette made these for me. I don't know if you can see these really well because it's white on white. And if you have a Cricut or Silhouette, you can create these as well. So I asked her to basically do um, the words that I need for each tab and then just a scallop down the bottom. And this will measure down the side of the mini happy planner. So I'll just show you here. This measures perfectly along the side of the mini happy planner. The thing that I do have to measure though is this here and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But what I'm gonna do with these tabs is show you how I'm going to create a clear divider just like the one that I had shown you previously. So let's get started on that. 
So what I have here now, it's hard to see, and I know you guys can see the reflection of my ring light, so I apologize for that. But this here is a sheet of five millimeter laminating paper. And what I'm going to do is just open this up and place the tab, the very, very top edge, as far up as I can get it. Now, because I'm quite frugal, I want to make sure that it is at the very top edge. And I'm going to talk you through this whole process rather than speed through it because I think I explained something very similar the last time I did a video like this and it was a bit too fast for some people. So then place that along the edge just like that. And then what I'm going to do is take a second one because I want to use this whole sheet. There's enough to fit two in this sheet. So I'm basically going to try and measure and see, because I don't want this to go stick out all the way, but there. And I'm going to place, I'm going to mark the place where this is basically going to come in the middle. So then here, place this one on this side. Make sure that the laminating paper also doesn't have anything inside it because as soon as you get any dust or anything like that inside the laminating paper, it's stuck in there forever. And place that one as close to the edge as you can because you're going to measure this as well to make sure that you are getting the width. Yeah, perfectly enough width. So now, smooth it out as much as possible and now I'm going to stick it through my scotch laminator and be very very careful with this here this is the point that I'm going to speed you guys through just one sec So now that I've done that, what I'm going to do now is cut this out of the laminating paper. So, no, fortunately, ooh, the hard thing with this laminating paper and my Fisker's blade is that it doesn't completely fit. So what I'm going to do is actually just cut off a bit of the side here. I won't be too exact, just enough to get it to fit into the Fisker's blade. So I'm measuring this out and um, basically the mini happy planner is at about 4.625 in width, 4.625 inches. But with the divider, I do want it to be slightly bigger, slightly longer than the page itself. So this one is going just over the five inch mark. So I'm gonna do the same with this one, cut it so that it is the words are just over the five inch mark. Just like that. And then now I can actually cut along the sides here. There's certain things that I will do with the blade and then certain things that I'm gonna go in closer with my scissors. So then with the Happy Planner, the length of it is seven inches, I believe it is, or 7.125. I think, I feel like I'm mixing that up with the personal wide, but I will include the exact measurements in the description below. So that is basically cut out, and I'm just trying to make sure that it's straight. It is. So then I'm going to also cut out this one here. So, so far, easy steps. Create your tab, either through the Cricut silhouette or with stickers or other tabs and cardstock. Put it through the laminating sheet, or put it in the laminating sheet and then put it through the laminator and then cut off the edges. So put that to the side here. And now what I'm going to do is go in and just trim the edge. I'm gonna make this curved as well to go with to go with what's there. Now I know there are people on Etsy or even on Instagram who make these and um, 
you can purchase it from them if you don't have a laminator like um, I know somebody like uh, type A for Alexa on Instagram makes these and she does them in different types of paper different colored paper uh, she does them as pockets so if you don't want to create your own there's definitely um, vendors out there or Etsy shops out there who will do them for you for a price but if you want to create your own, this is definitely an easy step to do that. See, that's so cute. So then I'm just gonna do the same with the weekly one. I'm sorry if you guys can hear that humming in the background. That is my laminator that's still on. So I'm not gonna show you every single one I make. I'm just gonna show you how you can do two on one laminating sheet. Now you see that it's bubbling a little bit here. I might have to run that through the laminator again just to remove the bubbles and just to make sure that it is properly sealed. I think that's okay. And then once I'm done cutting it out, I will show you how I am going to use my single hole punch to cut out the holes for the discs and just a pair of scissors. So you don't really need the Happy Planner Punch and actually I have heard that the Happy Planner Punch isn't great with cutting thicker thicker thicknesses basically so such as laminating paper um, or even cardstock. Cardstock is even a little bit difficult for the Happy Planner Punch so this is why sometimes a single hole punch while a little bit more effort will be better in terms of getting the, the holes for the discs. All right so the next step it actually looks really really cute the next step then is to kind of find a page in my Happy Planner. Ah! You know, when you're not careful, <laughs> you rip something out of your Happy Planner that you don't want to rip out. So I'm going to take a sheet of my Happy Planner notes paper here, and I'm just going to line it up as best as I can in the middle of the divider. I'm just going to zoom in here. So you see I've lined up the Happy Planner notes page in the middle of the divider. So it's evenly spaced on either side. And then I'm just gonna use a marker to mark where the holes are, where I'm going to punch the holes. So the top of each. Now I did have the We Are Memory Keepers hole punch for the Mini Happy Planner, but I found that it was off by just that little bit and it really bugged me because it really made the pages hard to turn. Um, so at least this way, I know that it lines up with the Happy Planner paper. Now just take a single hole punch, and I don't want to smudge it, so line it up to the top, and it's going to be difficult with laminating paper, but with a bit of brute force, you can do it. There we go. I won't take you through all of these. I'll finish them off camera. Now that I've punched that through, you go in with your scissors and then just cut in the slits for the discs. I try to make them actually a little bigger just to give them extra room to move. So it looks like a little bit of a keyhole. Again, this process does take work, but you don't need special equipment to punch this out. Single hole punch, scissors, there you go. I think really the only specialist equipment you need is the laminator. And I felt like such a nerd the day that my laminator came from Amazon. I was like, yay! I feel like it was a bit of a teacher and adult moment that I was like, oh, I have a laminator. There you go. There's one it's done. And I'm going to place that in my Happy Planner just to show you guys how that looks. There's my Happy Planner. Let's zoom out here. So here's the Happy Planner. There's the holes for the discs. And then just place that. And look at that. And how easily that works too and then it sticks out a little bit on the outside of the mini happy planner and I'm actually going to test that how far it goes if I place it in my T 
TN because I want to make sure that when I am using the TN that these aren't sticking out past the leather. So close it like this. Perfect. It's not sticking out too much where they're going to get wrecked, but they, it's just enough so that I can pull that easily. There you go. So I'm just going to take that out here. Here you go, a very simple divider tab. Now, I know people who do this create this, but then also instead of just a single sheet of laminating paper, you can create a pocket. I'm gonna link the video that I have, um, that I created a few months ago where you can create a dashboard pocket. Um, and then you can just combine it with your tab such as this. All right, I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.